Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your connection with the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How do you feel about each other? What's going on between you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. And now let's jump right in for Scorpio, Spirit Angels, guys. What messages, what guidance do you have for Scorpio in love at this time? The person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What's going on? For Scorpio, Eight of Wands, Three of Pentacles. It's like what's going on between you. Overall energy for you is Ace of Cups and the Moon, Pisces energy there. And for them, we have the Four of Swords and Death, Scorpio energy. Your energy. Overall energy, the bottom of the deck is the Hangman. Hmm. Okay, so the Eight of Wands is like movement, action, it's communication, things happening quickly, which is the opposite of the hangman. So I find that to be pretty interesting there. Three of Pentacles is like working things out, collaborating, working together. I think that's a bit of like, um, there's, there's a quiet energy here. Your person has the Four of Swords, which is a card about healing, reflection, thinking um but there's no action or communication and you have the moon which is all about what's hidden what's not clear uh secrets illusions so there's like this quiet energy and the hangman is very similar to the four of swords you're kind of just seeing things differently but you're not taking action and you're not communicating and then there's the eight of wands which is like the total opposite of all of that so we'll see what this is up about in a second what's the overall energy for scorpio and this other person's spirit what do we need to know walking away departure journey movement you're walking away towards something more for fulfilling if i could speak and then there's looking inward reflection solitude planning take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps bottom of the deck is restoring balance this is about like restoring balance fixing something harmony let me get one more. Can I get one more energy for this connection between Scorpio and this other person? What do we need to know about this connection between Scorpio and this other person? This one. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Oops. I hit the tripod. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, okay, so interesting because the attraction card and then looking inward, I'm thinking that someone's, um, okay, I'm getting looking at a picture. Thinking about someone, looking at their picture, looking them up online, that kind of energy. Okay, so um, it could be that you're not together. You don't have real like access to each other. Maybe one of you walked away from the other in the past because we have walking away. But this walking away energy could be happening in the present as well. Maybe one of you is walking away from a difficult situation and your person just have death, which is all about changes and endings. So we'll have to see what that's all about when we get to their energy. All right, let's start with the hangman. What's going on here? This is the overall energy for the reading. Why is the hangman here, spirit? Why is the hangman here? The Four of Swords. See, very similar energy over there. No communication, no action. Tell me about the hangman. This could be somebody like planning what action they want to take. And it's interesting because the cards that fell out here are the Emperor, Aries energy, and the Knight of Wands. Two very active energies there. So, okay, I'm going to put those back because that was a sloppy shuffle. But tell me about the hangman. What's going on with the hangman, please? The Queen of Cups. I'm telling you, someone's thinking about the person they care about. They're not acting on it right now, but they are thinking about this other person. And there's the Magician, right? Like someone that's thinking about what action to take. Because the Magician is all about using every tool at your disposal to make something happen. And there's the Fool at the bottom of the deck. So this could be somebody 
Take new risks. A leap of faith. A new start, right? So I think what's happening here is that one of you is thinking about the other person. And I mean, you could both be thinking about each other, but um, one of you is thinking about what action to take towards the other person that they've been thinking about. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. What's going on here? The Devil, Capricorn Energy. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. The Hangman Reverse. Interesting. I don't have re reversals in this deck, but I'll take that. Because I feel it's, it's basically telling me that someone is becoming unstuck. Taking action. No longer just hanging around, but doing something about whatever it is that they're thinking about. Now, the devil is about being chained, attached, um, kind of being led down the wrong path. It's also about like lust, temptation, desire, um, but it's about how lust, temptation, and desire leave you attached or restricted. So, um, when I see these two, I think of freedom. Maybe someone's becoming free from an attachment here. That's, that's the Hermit Virgo energy. Planning. That's just looking inward energy. I think that one of you is in a situation where you're stuck or in an attachment of some sort. Or a place where you feel like you can't make a move at this time. And someone's thinking about getting out of that energy. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Someone's stuck. Maybe because of fear. Maybe because they can't see a way out of a situation. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles, please. I feel like someone's working on trying to get out of this situation. Ten of Cups. Interesting. This is a card about like a happy ending, fulfillment, joy. Um, I think that's what someone's picturing. There's the Seven of Cups. So choices, options, what choice is the best one? Um, I think that someone here, you or this person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, um, you're in a difficult situation right now and you're thinking about getting out of it and having your happy ending with the person you're thinking about, the person you have feelings for. And this is all about manifesting, working on something, making plans to make some sort of move. And there's like an element of freedom here as well. So let's look at your energies for each, for each other. Um, I have you on the left, Scorpio, and your person on the right. But feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me more about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. Occupation, effort, being busy, working on something. Um, you could be working on, yeah, I feel like this is a distraction because I have bad health. Um, maybe you're trying to work on your health, on your you know, self-care, mental health, improving your situation. Maybe you're trying to distract yourself from heartache, heartbreak, disappointment, etc. Working on yourself, working on a business or project, school, etc. Tell me about this other person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with. Poverty, yeah. So they've experienced some sort of loss, difficulty, might be having financial issues. Toil and labor is at the bottom of the deck. So again, Another card about working, effort, putting in um, serious like time and energy into something. And it's like you're both on this, either you're both dealing with the same thing or you are thinking about the effort that they have to make to get out of a situation or vice versa, right? They're thinking about it, the effort you would have to make to get out of a situation. Tell me more for Scorpio. What do we need to know about Scorpio's energy? Let me move this a little bit. 
What do we need to know about Scorpio's energy spirit? What do we need to know about Scorpio's energy? You speak to me through music. So maybe there's a song that makes you think about this person, lyrics that stick out to you while you're listening to a song that makes you think about this person. Maybe you have a connection through music. Tell me about the person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna put those back because there's like way too many. I feel like your person has a lot of feelings. <laughs> Tell me more about this person Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about them? I hide behind material things. Interesting. Um, because they have poverty. <laughs> so, you know, again, I feel like your person's not doing well. Maybe they've been pretending to be doing well, but they really aren't. I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay. Hmm. I, I feel like this is a front, to be honest with you. I knew exactly what I was doing, but then I hide by, behind material things, and then there's poverty here. So this is somebody that maybe acted like they knew what they were doing, that they had it under control, that they, you know, were able, to, were going to be able to have success or accomplish whatever goal they set for themselves. But I don't think that that worked out in the way that they hoped because they don't have anything right now with poverty. All right, so let's look over here. When I see the Ace of Cups with the Moon, I think of revealing feelings or hiding your feelings for another person, like a secret love. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Moon. A lot of feelings here for this person, Scorpio, but also like long-term commitment, stabilities. The Eight of Cups is here with the moon. I feel like there's a move that your person needs to make in order for you to be together. But you're not very clear on that with the moon or you, you're confused about things or maybe there's an illusion here that you're not aware of. Regarding this departure, tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Scorpio, please. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you want to know if someone's effort, you know, again with the Eight of Pentacles is that working hard energy. If that if that's going if that's something that's actually going to happen here, there's strength, Leo energy at the bottom of the deck. I think your person has to walk away from something and you're wondering if they're going to do it. Are they actually working on this? Are they actually putting in effort? Um, some of you, I feel like this person has not been able to commit to you until they like do this one thing. And so you kind of want to know, are you doing what you said you were going to be doing? Because otherwise we're not going to have a future. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Five of Swords. Interesting. Maybe there's a challenge here. Or perhaps you're wondering um, if this person's playing you. You know, I feel like you have feelings for them, but at the same time, you have doubts as well. There's a reason you have doubts. Maybe because they're not taking action. Four of Swords, the Hangman. Eight of Swords, tied up, you know. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? The Five of Cups, regrets, disappointments. Tell me about the Four of Swords. The King of Pentacles. Very careful energy, the King of Pentacles. They don't like taking risks. Sometimes they're, um, for me as a reader, they're already in a commitment because they're like natural providers. They definitely uh, look like they have a lot going for them. So I feel like your person, they care a lot about stability, money, Career, Ten of Swords. Oh. Tell me about death. Ah, that's way too many. Tell me about death, please. 
right is that here? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're holding on to something that should have ended or needs to end already. Ten of Wands, yeah. Despite the fact that it's been difficult, I feel like this person has been dragging and ending a departure. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Seven of Pentacles is a card about like waiting, patience, um, anxieties over the future. And there's a page of cups. So I think what's happening here, uh, Scorpio, is that your person, they are, they don't want to have more regrets than they already have. And so they're worried about ending something in their life. It's like they're holding on due to fear. You know, they're holding on to something that they should have let go of because of fear. They don't know if it's going to work out. They don't want to be poor, you know. They don't want to have more losses. They don't want to mess with their stability. Um, I think they're thinking about how to make it happen without risking that, right? Risking their stability, their money, etc. Because they want to have their happy ending. But maybe what they want is a little too perfect, right? Like maybe what they want is for everything to work out, you know, as if it was like a fairy tale. And not everything in life works out that way. Especially when you're stuck in a situation that you need to get out of. You know, there's going to be a little bit of collateral damage. There's going to be a little bit of like consequences to deal with. I feel like you still care about this person. And it's like you're... You're waiting because you care about them. But deep down, you wonder if they're playing you. If this is, if they're really going to say what, if they're really going to do what they say. Sorry. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.